Alright folks, today we're going to be working on the vertical mattress suture technique. Uh, this is the far, far, near, near method uh, that is really good for uh, deeper wounds and wounds that you really want to get good everted edges for. Uh, that's always better for aesthetic results. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, just as we do in the interrupted suture technique, we're going to start in the middle. Now, with the simple interrupted, we start about five millimeters from the wound edge. We're going to roughly double that. We're going to come out the wound edge. Just as all the other suture techniques, we want to stay in the same plane as far as depth goes and come out about the same distance on the proximal side as we did on the far side so we've got that passed through we're going to reverse load our needle we're going to backwards pass just a few millimeters from our wound edge and if you want to pass this one all the way through it's easier but it's certainly acceptable to make or to come out of the wound edge and then pass the far side as well so you'll cinch that down and then you'll tie just as you do any other with two forward throws around your needle driver grab the tip of that needle driver and you pull down tighten that edge down and cinch it up and then one reverse and then another forward Leave approximately a centimeter tail when you cut to allow for easy removal. And that's our first vertical mattress interrupted stitch. Then we'll divide each remaining segment by halves, just as we do for our others. A reminder of just general suturing technique as that in, that needle enters the skin at a 90 degree angle <clears throat> and then you rotate your wrist through enter at the same depth that we exited First load our needle and backhand through. Again, I always hold the end of the suture to make sure I don't pull it through so two forward throws tighten it down cinch it reverse and a final forward and as you can see it already this everts the edges of the wound which as it heals will create a nice aesthetic look
reverse for our backhand. And just roll that needle through. Two forward throws, reverse, and forward. And our final. vertical mattress backhand needle at 90 degrees rotate that wrist through Two forward throws, one reverse, and final forward. Now, because of the design of this particular laceration on the uh, suture board it has rounded edges so those edges were not are not closed um, if we wanted to close that on the suture board we could put another suture just right on the end but most lacerations will not have those rounded edges so that would be closed so now how do we properly remove the vertical mattress suture. Again we want to follow the same principles of every other suture removal in that we don't drag any exposed suture through the skin wound. So we will cut our far knot or far suture right at the skin Then we will see if we can get our ads and under that near suture. We'll pull that through. We'll cut that off, pull that up slightly and cut that off at the skin. And then pull the remaining knot. And no exposed suture should pull through the skin with that technique. So cut our far knot. Now the suture has kind of cut through this suture board just because I've used it several times. So we'll pull that through. Grab and pull slightly, cut out the skin. And then pull the knot.
and that's the last of the sutures for the running correction, the uh, vertical mattress.